Hi guys, I'm Richard WW2 Man, and today I've got a video for you. Um, Cayman Da First asked me to do this, um, so here it is. Um, but we, and it's going to be on my M40 side cap. But before we move on, go on to that, I'm going to just show you my basic uh, Panda, Panda sub, uh, gun uniform. So here it is. Um, first, start off with the headgear. This is my M43 cap, uh, Waffen SS. Um, I do Waffen SS um, mainly rather than army. Um, don't know if you can see the Tottenkopf there. Anyway, so, yep, and here's my um, SS Panzer Wrap, um, Oakleaf B, I believe, pattern. Uh, slightly faded, nicely weathered. Bank of uh, Grenadier, um, oh man, um, and here's my P38 holster, uh, I know it's kind of crappy but, what's P38, airsoft, um, so yeah it broke today, um, and kind of screwed with my foot. Um, Magly broken fell on my foot with the weights. Anyway, so original SS belt buckle. Uh, not managed to work out what date it is. Um, just ordinary belt, and I would I would have ordinary M43 trousers on, but um, I decided to not put them on for the video. But anyway, so yep, yeah, I'll now move on to. Uh, the actual main topic of the video. So, Keyman Da First, you asked me to do this, so here it is. Um, this is my M40 side cap. Uh, Panza, I believe, or it could be Luftwaffe, but um, I think it's just a really, really badly faded Panza one. Um, so, here you've got your uh, Panzer Eagle, and then you would have uh, the little Randalls here similar to the one on the normal service cap sorry about the shakiness um, so yeah that, that was an original kind of trapezoid by the way uh, this hat I'm not sure if it's original or not um, it could be post-war is what I'm thinking because it's got a massive A in typical kind of post-war markings but uh, for the Bundeswehr um, but anyway, it is literally exactly the same style as an M40. Now, uh, the Panzers use this. Um, sometimes, uh, the crew, the man, would choose to... The roundels will be here. You can see where it's been removed. Um, they would put uh, piping down there, or Waffenfarbe, down there and there. And I think that would usually be... To donate officers um, and that will be pink for panzer red for artillery etc uh, etc et there are lists online I won't mention them all because it would probably take up a large amount of the video um, and I just don't know them off the top of my head um, anyway and they'll, they'll also sometimes put Waffenfarbe around the top of here Waffenfarbe translated literally means sorry weapon or armed color uh, and it stands for uh, the service branch. So, yep, there's basically that's my M40 side cap. Um, these were, I believe, kind of introduced around 1940. Uh, M40 basically is just used by collectors to identify dates where things were introduced. So, yep, the Panzers also used something called the Panzer Schutzmutze. I did have uh, one of these posters but I can't find it but anyway basically it's that cap there that the guy's wearing um, and there are several types introduced but there was a main one of the main types uh, or one of the first types I should say um, had a metal inside and what would happen is that was designed so that it would protect the Panzer crewman's head so that if 
the tank went over a bump he, and he hit his head on the ceiling it wouldn't hurt him so much it would put him out of action or knock him out etc um, yeah and also if there was uh, say the tank was hit by an enemy shell it would be protected um, from well not completely obviously but his head would be given slightly more protection but probably wouldn't be wouldn't work that well um, so yep that's a Panzer re recruitment poster so yep that's for the Wehrmacht there are Wehrmacht Panzers and there's the SS Panzers um, and you can see here that the Wehrmacht Panzer would this is uh, they would have um, the the Eagle uh, the Reich Adler or the uh, Wehrmacht Adler uh, and underneath it they'd have the oak leaf thing round it and um, with the drum and roundels in the centre so yep and I believe the M43 caps that were in black um, that were issued um, were mainly issued for self-propelled gun uh, operators but in limited amounts I think they were issued to some Panzer crews so yeah M43 like I said it introduced 19 well round about 1943 yep, it was used um, by all branches of the German military so like the M40 uh, side cap um, and used throughout the war um, apart from the M43 kind of took over in the army and in the Luftwaffe but the M40 stayed on with the Panzer partially because you're not going to need a massive visor in a tank it's just going to get in the way um, whereas and also it's slight it's slightly harder to put um, headphones over the top um, so yeah it's a lot easier you just plunk that on your head headphones just go over over here onto your ears and it's not cumbersome at all it doesn't get in the way um, it's just a lot easier for the, the crew members to take off their headsets um, it's partially why I think it was more popular than the Panzer Schutzmutzer. Uh, I can't remember the date off the top of my head when the Panzer Schutzmutzer was introduced, but I'm thinking it's round about 1939. Um, anyway, so yep, yeah, that's basically my M40. Uh, side cap that I got bashed up for the Panzers um, it's very very faded like I said before if you look it's kind of almost going blue uh, whereas that is the proper colour it should be so the fading kind of makes me think it might have originally been Luftwaffe but hey uh, it's faded it could have been black at one point so that's why I'm using it for my Panzer one at the moment. So, also the Panzer Schutzmutzer was not you was I don't think as popular because in things like the Desert Campaign or Russian camp campaign um, on the Eastern Front, uh, it used to get really hot inside the tanks, and then there are Russian tank drivers who uh, talk about it being so hot that they. Um, were literally naked inside their tanks um, so I, um, I probably assume that the Germans would have been on probably the same levels and the Panzer Schutzmutzer had a, a metal kind of thing inside to protect the head like I said before and I mean that would have been really really hot and you wouldn't want that at all also um, from what I've heard is that it was quite uncomfortable to wear as well and so large amounts of people took the inside rim out some left them in and then 
I think it was kind of phased out in kind of preference to the M40, M38, no, side cap, and the M40 side cap. Uh, this is shown in um, another Panzer recruitment poster from the time, uh, which is here. So you see, he's got a side cap, and I believe that looks to me like it could be an M40 side cap. Um, because you see it straight all the way around, whereas if it was an M38, it'd have slight dip. Um, see, it's like got a straight part all the way around. It, it'd be like that if it was an M38. So, yep. Yeah, um, so that's that's another uh, recruitment poster. Um, that's, I believe, for. Uh, a rather strange Luftwaffe armor division, the Hermann Goering division, um, but still incredibly interesting uh, Panzer recruitment poster. So, yep, yeah, that's basically it. Um, that's all, all my knowledge really that I've got on the Panzer caps, and I could just add on the end that. Most Panzer uniforms were black Panzer wraps. Uh, Self-propelled guns were basically exactly the same as a Panzer wrap, just they were grey. And then the SS, I believe, after uh, I think it was 1943 or 1942, um, started uh, to produce uh, this, which is the Oak Cleef Panzer Wrap, uh, and that would be issued to self-propel gun teams as well. Um, and it also came with trousers. I don't have the trousers. Yep, that's basically it. And some Panzer crews were also issued with this as well, from what I've read in books such as no nope, Armies of the Second World War. I can't remember the author. I'll probably put. The name in the description so yeah that's basically it um got any questions if i know the answers i'll try and answer them so yeah subscribe